Howdy folks, Pilgrim here. Folks, I want to read to you a report and it comes from... Let's have a look here. It comes from the Countdown Report. And I know a lot of you have seen it already. I want to read to you 21 facts from the Countdown Report, okay? Keep them in mind because they're very interesting. Number one. The August 21 eclipse will be the first total solar eclipse whose path of totality, path of darkness, stays completely in the United States since 1776. And that's, that's according to Space.com Total Solar Eclipse 2017 Guide. What else happened in 1776? Hmm. Number two, first contact, the first, when this eclipse begins, first contact is in the state of Oregon, the 33rd state in the USA. The last contact is in South Carolina on the third, on the 33rd parallel. This eclipse happens on the 233rd day of the year. The eclipse occurs 33 days before September 23rd, 2017. 33 days before uh, Jewish New Year. Jesus was 33 years old when he died, and there are so many references to the number 33 uh, in the scripture, it's not even funny. And you know that the occultists and so on have tried to abuse this and use this number for their own purposes, left, right, and center. But th it'll mean nothing in the end, at the end of the day, because they have no power. Um... Number three, it is 99 years, three times 33, since the last eclipse to go coast to coast in the U.S. in 1918. From September 23, 2017 to the end of the year, December 31st, there are 99 days, or three times 33. The number of days from the 1918 eclipse to the August 21 eclipse of this year is 26,234 days. 2 plus 6 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. 17. That's really playing with numbers, but I'm, it's interesting and this wasn't my study. <laughs> 33 has a special relation to earthquakes because the Richter scale uses the number 33. This is number 4. Each whole number that goes higher on the Richter scale is 33 times more intense than the whole number below it. Keep this in mind because the first big city, this is just what this report says, okay? The first big city the eclipse hits is in Oregon, and it is the city of Salem, which was named after Jerusalem. The eclipse also begins in Oregon exactly at sunset time in Jerusalem. So technically speaking, as the sun sets because of this eclipse in America, it will be setting in Jerusalem at the exact same time. This shows that the two are inextricably linked, impossibly linked. Uh, in subject matter because God knows how to send the message. Number five, the center line crosses through 12 states to receive total darkness. 12 disciples, 12 months in the year, and so on. Those who've been with me through the Genesis Timeline Prophecy videos know that the number 12 symbolizes God's sovereignty, uh, God's kingdom, and it represents God's kingdom. And uh, as opposed to all earthly kingdoms, no matter how powerful they may think they are. So then that brings us back to the subject of this eclipse happening in 1776. We were warned from the beginning. Okay? Just like in the Bible, God sends... God speaks the blessings and the curses. If you do this, this will happen. If you do that, that will happen. He told us at the very beginning. Number six. The eclipse path is exactly 70 miles wide. 70 has a sacred meaning in the Bible that has two perfect numbers. Seven represents perfection. Man, uh, <clears throat> God with man. You know, n the number six represents man without God. His perfect state of being is with God. So, uh, six pl uh, 1 plus 6 is the number 7, which is the, our state of perfection. Number 1 in the Hebrew usage represents God's sovereignty. So, there you see it. <coughs> God and man. 
Seven represents perfection, and ten represents all things earthly and God's law on it. Seventy also symbolizes perfect spiritual order and a period of judgment. We're back to the Genesis timeline, the last day's generation, 1914 to 2018, 70 years. Seventy is also specially connected with Jerusalem, with so many references in the Bible, it's impossible to list them all here. This eclipse pathway is exactly 70 miles wide. Okay. 7. When Jesus died, there was an eclipse and an earthquake. Check out Luke 23 and Matthew 27. 8. Donald Trump was born on an eclipse. <laughs> 9. The path of the August 21, 2017 eclipse crosses every major earthquake fault line. You remember that note about the use of uh, 33 in the Richter scale? Two days after this eclipse, there's a FEMA exercise known as, known as Earth X 2017 scheduled that will simulate catastrophes such as mega earthquakes, cyber terrorism, or high altitude electromagnetic pulse attacks, nuclear attacks. Uh, I'm just quoting their own report, the FEMA report. So, two days later, they suddenly start doing exercises for mega earthquakes. They know it's coming. They were the ones who produced the map that I showed you in my last videos. So here is the eclipse path imposed on the USGS map of highest earthquake zones. It crosses every single earthquake zone in this country. Have a look at this. Number 10, the combined time of totality of these eclipses together will be 7 minutes. 11, the day of the eclipse is August 21, 2017, as I said in my last video, 3 times 7. The exact point where the two eclipses cross, according to this report, is right next to Cedar Lake in Illinois, specifically right next to Salem Road. There's that Salem again. The reason why this doesn't change anything is because on the map of the United States, when the New Madrid fault line goes off, its epicenter coming from the town of New Madrid, even according to the map that the government has produced, the split from Michigan down to the Gulf, this town of Salem, Illinois, is dead center, right in the center of it. You don't want to be there when that happens. If you remember in the Bible, the story about Korah, and the sons of Korah who rebelled against Moses in the desert and the earth just swallowed them up opened up and they fell right in and there was no hope for them kind of the same scenario in a way uh, you don't want to be there when that happens number, il number 12 the region where the X marks in Illinois is called Little Egypt the exact point where the two paths cross is in the town of is in the town of Makanda, in the city of Salem, which used to be called the Star of Egypt. Thirteen. The last time we had a full eclipse in 1918, it was accompanied by a pandemic and war, flu crisis of 1918. Millions died, and the U.S. was involved in World War One. Fourteen. The original form of the Hebrew letter Tav is like the English letter. X or T, which is in the shape of a cross, or X like the X that is made by two solar eclipses on the cross paths over seven years. The letter Tav, the meaning of the Hebrew letter Tav uh, from Judaism means a sign, the giving of a sign. Fifteen. The path of the eclipse will be situated in such a way that every single state of the United States will see it. Even Hawaii and Alaska. God is addressing the entire nation. I am talking to all of you people, so to speak. Uh, I don't want to put God's words in, his, God, words in God's mouth, but I'm saying, if this is right, then God is speaking to all of us, the entire nation, and making sure that every single one of us hear it and see it. The totality, the darkness, will reach Oregon at 10.16 in the morning, Pacific time, 
and it will end in South Carolina at 2.49 p.m. Eastern Time. This means it will take one hour and 33 minutes to cross the country. There's that 33 thing again. 17. Right before full totality of the eclipse, the last light glimpse, the last light glimpse from the sun will form a diamond ring in the sky. Marriage, anyone? I'm not a date setter, so don't jump all over that, but I know some people will. We know it's coming, but even Jesus said, just take each day as it comes, because you don't know what's going to happen the next day. You could get hit by a truck tomorrow. What's going to happen to you then, if, depending on the condition of your attitude toward, toward God? Okay? Just keep it in mind. 18. This is interesting. Only planet Earth in our solar system, only planet Earth can experience a total solar eclipse. Think about that. 19. The August 21st, 2014, uh, 2017 eclipse also cuts through every major occult symbol in the United States, like the Georgia Guidestones, the St. Louis Gateway Arches, uh, and the founding state of the Masons to name just a few. Every single major occult symbol that this nation has built, it slices through every single one of them. Okay? 20. The longest known total solar eclipse lasted about seven minutes. The, the American mainland has experienced seven total solar eclipses per, se per century since 2000 BC. So the rarity of this one that's coming is not only considered a once-in-a-lifetime event, but a once-in-about-seven-lifetimes event. Mm -hmm. Plus the fact that this one can only be seen by Americans, unlike it, all the others. 21. The eclipse is also exactly 40 days from Yom Kippur. Yom Kippur means Day of Atonement, and it's a time of repentance. While the eclipse day itself may come and go, with everything remaining normal afterwards, we need to be focused on what could be coming soon after. You know? What we are being told that's coming. If the U.S. is instrumental in splitting and dividing the city of Jerusalem, all of this applies. We've had it. Is the U.S. being warned to repent? Forty days were given in the sign of Jonah when the eclipse overtook Nineveh. There was an eclipse over Nineveh. But then again, bad things were starting to happen just prior to the eclipse over Nineveh too. Be ready now and at all times, repent and draw close to the Father. That's the end of that report. I've always wanted to do a study uh, on and just draw together all the eclipses mentioned in the Bible and see how they tie together. It's just something I've always wanted to do. But you have all this information. I'm going to put a copy of this list below this video here on YouTube and read over it, forward it on, pray, because we know that our redemption draws near. We're nearly at the end of the Genesis timeline years. Bad things are happening. The U.S. has declared the death of Israel. They want to be instrumental in splitting the city of Jerusalem, turning all the other nations against Israel too, or joining with them, leading the charge. And, you know, we've been betrayed by our leaders on both sides of the aisle in order to do so. God bless. And perhaps we'll see each other soon. Well, they said it's going to be covered in about 118, so it's 114 right now. No, I'm good. My camera's got it. So, this is the first of two eclipses. The second one coming from coming in 2024, seven years from now, and 
Both of them make a giant X across the United States, which falls directly over the town of Salem, this time in, which was named after Jerusalem in Illinois, uh, which many believe is a direct message to the U.S. who is pushing for the division of Jerusalem. But as soon as they succeed in doing so, the U.S. itself will be split. The U.S. government knows that's coming. They've already produced a physical map showing what the U.S. would look like after the new Madrid has done its work. The center of this X falls directly slap bang over the center of the new Madrid fault line where the split will be. I just find that stuff very, very interesting. Yeah. So original pilgrim is one word and you'll see. There is not much left of it either. You know, this eclipse is happening and it just happens to be the only cloud in the sky, the entire sky covers it at that exact moment. Can you believe that? I'm telling you. I'm seeing spots. I think they call it Murphy's Law. Look away. Come over here. Oh, there it goes. Oh, that was probably the cloud. <laughs> She's funny. Yeah, I can't see a darn thing. Can you believe it? That is so not right. The only cloud in the sky covers it that exact second. Is it 118.36? Oh, wow. Pass that. 120 right now. Oh, it's 120. That's it. That's it. Let's go work. I got some beautiful close-ups of this thing. It's incredible. Just beautiful. I don't know why everyone walked off. Just when it was getting good. Slowly moving out of there, folks. Uh, It'll be a while. It's an hour and 33 minutes across this nation. Remember all the things I told you in the third video? A lot of that stuff's happening right now at this second as you're watching this, or as you were watching this. God bless you and remember that the King is near. And there is proof of that for those who will have eyes to see and ears to hear. Look at this. God bless you.